Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to make a needle roller bearing. So here, the first part of the needle roller bearing is the outer ring. Now, we will make the outer ring by using the revolve boss feature. For that, first go to the sketch, then select the top plane. Now here, we will put a vertical center line about which our section will be revolved. After that, we will draw the section by using the random dimensions and then we will give the exact dimension. So here we will draw the section like this. Now we will give the dimensions. So here select the smart dimension. Now the distance in between the center line and this vertical line is 50 mm. This length is 7 mm. This length is also 7 mm. Here, the distance in between these two lines is 2 mm. And the length of this vertical line is 2 mm. And the distance or the length of this line is 20 mm and the length of this line is 20 minus 4 which is 16 mm and now we have to give the distance in between the origin and this horizontal line and it is 10 mm and then here our sketch is completed now we will use the revolve boss feature so here we will exit the sketch now go to the features and select the revolve boss feature and then click on ok now we will use the fillet to make the fillet at these two edges so here we will go to the fillet now select this edge and this opposite edge and here the radius of fillet is 2 mm and then ok also we will give here the chamfer so here we will select the chamfer now select this edge and this edge and here the distance of chamfer is 0.5 mm and then ok now after making this outer ring we have to impress the name of the company or whatever name that we want. For that go to the sketch, select this surface. Now we will draw a circle. So here we will draw a circle like this. And then we will exit the sketch. After that we will go to the sketch and then again select that surface. After that here select the text and here we have to select the curve along which we want to type our text or along which we want to make our impression of the name. So here we will select the circle that we have drawn earlier and then here we have to type the text that we want to impress on the outer ring. So here I will type SOLIDWORKS tutorials. You can type the name of the company or whatever you want. So here select the flip vertical and here select this flip horizontal. So here you can read SOLIDWORKS tutorials and then click on ok now here we will exit the sketch after that go to the features and select the extruded cut and here give the depth of extrusion as a 0.5 mm and then click on ok so here you can see that we have 
impress the name of the company or name of the model of the bearing that you want to impress on the aftering of the bearing for the reference purpose so here our first part which is the aftering of the bearing is completed and now we will save it here we will create a new folder on the desktop and we will name it as a needle roller bearing and here we will name it as outer ring and then save now we will move to the second part of the bearing which is the inner ring of the bearing now here in the case of the needle roller bearing inner ring and cage are composed into one element and it is also known as the inner ring so here we don't need to design cage separately now here to design the inner ring we will use the revolve feature so here first go to the sketch then select the top plane now we will insert a vertical center line and here we will also insert a horizontal center line after putting these two center lines we will first draw half profile of the section to be revolved around this vertical line and then we will mirror that half portion about this horizontal line so here first we will draw two vertical lines now we will give it dimensions so here the distance of this vertical line from the vertical center line here this distance is 47 mm and the distance in between these two lines is 3 mm so here it is 3 mm and the length of this two line is 2.8 mm so here it is 2.8 mm and it is also 2.8 mm now we will draw the another section or other part of the section so here now draw this inclined line and a vertical line then a horizontal line then again a vertical line then horizontal line then vertical line and then complete the profile now here we have to give this two line as a parallel line so select the first line press control and select the second line and here give it parallel then okay now here we have to give this line and this line in a vertical or we select this point press control select this point and here give it vertical and then okay now we will give the dimensions so here we will go to the smart dimension and here the length of this line is 4 mm so here we will enter 4 mm now we have to give the distance of this line so here this length is 1 mm so here we will enter here 1 mm now here we have to give the distance in between this line and this horizontal center line so here we will give it the distance in between this two and which is 8 mm so we will enter here 8 mm now we have to give this line and this line as parallel line so select this line press control and select this line and here make it parallel and then okay and now we have to give the distance to this line for that go to the smart dimensions and select this line and give the distance of 3 mm and then okay
now we will give the angle so here select this line i'm sorry go to the smart dimension and then select this line and here this angle is 135 degree and press control then okay now here we have made the half profile now we will give it mirror about this horizontal axis so for that select this sketch then here select the mirror entities now click on this box and then select this horizontal center line and then okay so here we have drawn the sketch and we have put a vertical center line now we will exit the sketch after that go to the features and select the revolve boss feature now here we have to give the axis of revolution so here this is the axis of revolution and then click on ok now we will give the fillet so here go to the fillet and select this radius this radius and also this edge and this edge and here the radius of fillet is nothing but 0.4 mm so here enter 0.4 and then ok now we have to use the extrude cut so here go to the sketch and select the top plane now we will draw one profile and for that first I'm sorry we will exit the sketch now we have to go to the sketch and then here select the front plane now we will draw the profile for that first we will draw horizontal center line so here it is the horizontal center line now we will draw two lines so here this is the first line and here it is the second one and it is the second line now we have to give the angle so here the angle in between two line is 7.19 and the angle in between I'm sorry the angle in between these two lines is half of that so here it is 7.19 divided by 2 and it is 7.19 now after that we have to draw two vertical lines so here first vertical line is like this and another vertical line like this so both the line should be outside of the feature now we will trim unwanted segments so here we have trim unwanted segments now we will draw a circle over here so here we will draw one circle and here the diameter of the circle is 2 mm so here we will give it dimension as a 2 mm and ok we have to also give here we should place it as the center from these two circles and for that here this circle is having the distance from the origin which is 45.32 so it should be 45 and then exit the sketch now after making this sketch we have to use the extrude cut feature for that go to the features and select here extruded cut now here we will select the flip I'm sorry we have to select this and here the depth of extrusion is 11.52 and on both the sides of sketching plane so here 
we'll select the mid plane and then click on ok after making this we have to give it circular pattern for 36 time and for that we will go to the circular pattern now here we have to select the axis of revolution so here we will select this surface and here we have to give it 36 and then click on ok so here our second part which is the inner ring is completed and now we will save it so here we will save it and we will name it as a inner ring then save now we will move to the third component which is the roller so here go to the sketch and select the top plane now we have to draw two concentric circles having the diameter of 2 mm and 6 mm so here the inner circle having the diameter of 2 mm and the outer one is having the diameter of 6 mm and then we will exit the sketch now go to the features and select the extruded boss feature now here we will select the mid plane and the depth of extrusion is 11 mm and then ok now we will give out fillet over this edge and this edge so here go to the fillet select this edge and also select this edge and here the radius of fillet is 0.2 mm and then ok now we will save it and name it as a roller and then save till now we have created all the components of the needle roller bearing and now it's time to make an assembly for that go to the file select new and here select the assembly and ok now here first we will import the outer ring then we will insert the inner ring now select the mat and select here the surface and this surface and then ok now here we will select the front plane of the outer ring and here we will select the front plane of the inner ring and then ok so now we have combined the outer ring and inner ring and now we will place the rollers for that first we will import the roller now select the mat and select first the outer surface of the roller and then select this cylindrical portion and then ok after that here we will select the front plane of the outer ring and for roller we will select the top plane and then ok so here we have placed one roller and now we will make pattern of it for 36 time for that here select the roller and now select the circular component pattern now here we have to give the axis of the pattern so here select this outer surface and here give the component so here we want 36 such rollers so enter here 36 and then ok 
so here in this tutorial we have made the needle roller bearing using the solidworks if you like my video then please hit on the like button and subscribe my channel solidworks tutorial for more videos and updates thanks